All right, guys, Cowboy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in the Freedom Office. Today is a huge day for those down in Georgia. And not only just for those individuals down in Georgia, but it literally would carry the balance of whether or not we're going to be able to exercise our Second Amendment uh, freely as we see fit moving down the road. Uh, the scary part about it is they're saying right now that the counting of the ballots is going to continue on past the deadline, which is almost like five hours from now. Truly scary. And I will tell you this. Um, it's of my belief that if they allow a continued of accounting afterwards, then we're going to run into the same old situation as we did before. So it's going to be interesting. So uh, what are we talking about? In this video, we're going to talk about Ohio and DeWine, the governor up there, signing in the Stand Your Ground law. Now, why is this big? Uh, first of all, it's a huge victory for the Second Amendment. Uh, in the past, you've had this thing called a duty to retreat. Now, let me explain to you what duty to retreat means. That means if you're sitting in your home or your car or anywhere else uh, and you have a firearm on you and somebody's trying to kill you, you have to retreat. You have to go to the farthest ends. You have to try to escape uh, to move yourself away from the situation prior to protecting those around you. So, uh, so basically what this gave opponents, or let's just say attorneys, uh, district attorneys, the ability to go, well, you didn't retreat enough, yeah. which is a huge conjecture. Uh, it, it, yeah, we don't feel like you retreated enough before you shot back or protected yourself or your family or your property or anything else. Hence, we go in to stand your ground law. That's kind of like the castle doctrine that we have in North Carolina, stand your ground. If I'm sitting on a motorcycle and somebody tries to kill me, guess what? I can react to that with equal force. If somebody tries to jump into my car, I can react to that with equal force. If somebody comes into my home. Now, opponents of this measure, they feel like it's, well, it's just unfair to the guy who's jumping in or breaking into your house. Well, you know, well, it's just not fair that somebody can come in and just I, I, you know, feel like they can kill you just because you're being a really bad person. Well, you got to answer to a judge and a jury at some point in your life, okay? So I would advise that if you are going to exercise your stand your ground law, you better have your ass and your information back. But let's just continue. DeWine signed SB 175 into law on Monday, which is the last day for him to sign it. The governor kept, governor kept his promise to sign to repeal the Ohio's duty to retreat law that forces victims of violent crime to retreat before they're legally able to defend themselves. Imagine that, man. Somebody comes into your home and you got to run out the backside. You're not allowed to protect your goods, your home, your family. You got to go hide in a closet. And this is an all in an effort to help protect, well, I don't know who, the, the, the criminal? And that's the funny thing about this whole thing. And I might be just talking into the wind, but why do Democrats give such a huge effort to protect criminals? Well, here's one lady right here. And let's talk about this. Michelle Pinsky. Oh, uh, actually, Mitchell Pinsky, a representative of students, demand action at Ohio State University. I'm really upset with Mike DeWine because he talked about cause to do something. He talked about the issues of systemic racism and just how gun violence is. Yet he signs a bill that exacerbates systemic racism and gun violence. I mean, really, his talk is cheap. Now, let me ask you a question. How is it a stand your ground law is by some, the media, as well as the Democrats in the uh, House over there, uh, racist. I I'm sorry, but I don't give a shit what color the person is who's trying to break into my car or break into my home. They're done. That's the whole thing. I don't give a shit what color that person is. If they're a threat and they're a threat to my family and I feel the need and the necessity to go ahead and use, well, my firearm, that's the way it's going to be. Let's keep on going. Ohio House Minority Leader Representative Amelia Strong Sykes released a statement Monday following DeWine's, and I guess that's how you pronounce his name. Hell, I'm stuck with Roy Cooper. He's just as bad. He goes to close his eyes like this. If we could just save one life. Signing of the bill, it says in part, and this is her, it says in part, quote, there's nothing worse than a coward. Only cowards would pass and sign a bill that has been proven to disproportionately harm black people. 
That in itself, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, if you may disagree with me, let me know about them down below. However, with that being said, just be, the, the mere reason, the mere why she's bringing up the color of people, it pisses me off. It's introducing racism into a bill. And there's a guy over there also, his name is Senator Johnson. Now, you're going to like this guy. Okay. Quote, let us be perfectly clear, this is not a stand-your-ground law. This only preserves a law-abiding individual's right to self-defense. Kudos. Yes, the United States Ohio constitutions are for every Ohio citizen, uh, said J Senator Johnson. Also, a supporter of the bill, quote, certainly the U.S. Bill of Rights is colorblind. Absolutely. It's just, and again, it goes back to if you're breaking into my home, I don't care what color you are. You will pay a price. Anything that preserves or enhances our Second Amendment rights is good for all of us. And here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. If Georgia goes blue with those two senators down there, they're both anti-gun. And it just will pave the way for things like this. Stand your ground law will be a thing of the past. Stuff that chaps my ass. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. We always end them like this. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution 24-7 because freedom is not free. That was a good one. I'm KB32, and I'm out. Y'all be good.